Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so welcome back. Now we're training Miss Aria. This is actually the first phase of this training because we have to make sure we get it down to the finest. So we're going to strain it and this a couple of times and then use a couple of fine strainers for the fine tuning, what I call it. The, the so just stay tuned we'll let you see the progress as we go along right. yes so there we have it for the first um, straining so we're going to put it see all that trash there this we're going to throw out and then we're going to strain that again until we get, you know, most of that. It's going to be just smooth. So just stay tuned. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So now we're straining it with the, um, give it the final strain. Next step after this, we're going to sweeten it and then bottle it. I just give you um, a little tip on how you can do a fast sweetening, you know. To make sure you get out all of these dregs out of that. So, only strain and firm. That is that. So continue to watch. We'll let you see the progress as we go along. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So this is a new method that we use in here to sweeten the cereal. So I just put some of the sugar in the, um, the, the, the ninja. I'm going to blend it up, like make sure everything is all dissolved. Then I mix it up with the rest of the cereal. And that's your cereal sweetener ready without any... Um, too much effort, so just stay tuned. <laughs> probably didn't know that it could be done like this you know but you know it's, it depends on what you want to do and I, I have not more time so this is what I'm doing you can put it you know do it the conventional way you just pour the sugar in there and you just use your spoon and you just stir it until it's all dissolved whatever you like the the, the, the way you prefer prefer to do it you just do it that way you know it's no hard and fast rule that you really have to do it you know one way or the other but I'm just showing you that there's another way that you can do it. If in, in case your hand, you know, get tired by stirring too much, this is another method that you can use. As well as you can, you know, maybe add some water, if, if you like, a little bit of water. And you just mix out the sugar in there and pour it in the syrup. So, remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. So this is the other method here. Oh, your sweetness, you just pour your sugar in there. Pour a little more of that sugar in there, please. Yes. Thank you. Look at that. Is it okay? Pour some, just pour some. A little more, a little more. 
Okay. And you just stir it until it's all dissolved. You can actually feel it with the spoon, like you 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 see feel if it's rubbing and anything down the bottom, then you know the um the sugar is still there. We'll just put a little more in there. Put that in there. You think it's okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, there it is, my viewers and subscribers. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Cyril is ready now, so I'm going to bottle it up and um, put it in the refrigerator. So, just stay tuned. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Watch the end. If, you if you're watching this video for the first time, you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe today. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much for your support and continue to share the video with your families and friends. Continue to encourage others to come over and to subscribe to the channel. God bless you. We'll catch you on the other side. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so this are real it's all bottled up now. Look at that. I have um, sorrel is all ready there. Let me turn it down a little so you can see it from the downward position. Pick this one up and show you the richness of the sorrel. Look at that. All strained you know, down to the, the, the smoothest point or the finest point. Look at that. Sorry, it's all ready. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator with all that ginger and that clove in there. You know, make it ready. It's well preserved. So two weeks time later, a month later, it's still good. I'm going to keep Two of these bottles in the refrigerator and then one is going to into the freezer you know for um, as they would call it rainy day so when you know like another special occasion or so if i don't make some more then i'll have that i could take that out let it thaw out and then guess what it would be just as fresh so remember to like share subscribe and leave your comments below and definitely uh, well, God's willing, we will catch you in our next video. So stay tuned. We love you, and we pray for your continued support. Bye for now.